Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. In today's video, we'll look at how you can create 3D retro text effect in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be creating out these three designs uh, one by one. In the second design, we'll be using 3D extra bevel option to create out this design so we'll be adding this depth using 3d variable option then for the shades we'll be using the uh, blending option to create this uh, falling shades and later on we'll work on with this outlines using the offset option then uh, we'll add some shades and all and for the last design we'll be using the same technique to create this basic shape with the uh, blending option and after that we'll be adding shades using the patterns uh, if you haven't checked out our previous tutorial in our first part of our design we have created color layer uh, text effect later uh, we have seen how we can create complex design like a very retro oldish style so uh, let's begin with the designing process of this tutorial and as you can see the second design is a little darker retro 3d effect and we'll be creating out this design so to create this design let me bring this somewhere that's begin so what I'll do is first of all I'll make a dark background so just select this and create a duplicate of it and place it somewhere around here and I'll just lock this up command or control 2 to lock it now let's create this text so to create this text let's type out our text R E T R or retro and let's change the color to white and let's scale this up command or control T and just scale it up over here and let's see the spacing first so we need a little more spacing so I'll go to character and let's increase the spacing around 150 okay and let's increase the size as well and now let's do it so first thing first we'll change this into outline so right click create outlines and now we will be creating this 3d depth so let's use 3d extreme bevel option so selecting this I'll go to effect 3d extreme bevel option so click on that and here preview it and first thing first we need to set all the values to zero so zero 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 so here we go and now let's give a little angle to this so I'll just move a little bit one degree two degree here also so I'll just increase the depth now let's increase the depth so as you can see you can increase the depth over this but right now it's going on the right side so I'll just make it minus 2 and let's check it out so it turns this side so let me see the thickness so here uh, we need the thickness like this so you can adjust the thickness with the extra depth value so we'll keep it around 140 or 150 like that and for the bottom one we need some thickness over here as well so we'll use the top and we'll give a two degree angle just to give that I think this is good and click OK so this way you can give that perspective depth using the 3d extra valve option and now let's change the color so what I'll do is I'll expand this so go to object and expand appearance and let's ungroup it and now this is separate this is separate this is separate so everything is separate we have to ungroup all of them as well so ungroup it and now our all the top surfaces are separate so I'll just select them all and group them up first come on or control G and now this is separate and now what I'll do is I'll just select everything and deselect our top surface and now we are left with the background shapes so we'll group them up come on control G and what we can do is we can convert them into like single objects so I'll go to Pathfinder and combine them like unite them and it will form a single object like that now let's apply the color so so with the add opera tool I just pick this color and this is the red color and to check the color code here's the color code FD3532 I'll try to uh, give you the color palette uh, for download so once you see uh, have done this tutorial check out our description and I might be adding a link for the downloading option so just make sure to check it out so now for the bottom one I just pick it and let will give a single color to this this blue color and you can see the color code over here so this is the color code uh, 63 EDE 2 and click OK 
and now let's work for more details so our base design is ready red and blue and let's create this one so to create the uh, falling shadow effect we'll be using the blending option so what I'll do is I'll just create a duplicate of this one and place it somewhere around here and we'll create one more and I'll just drag it somewhere around here like that how much depth you want to give you can decide over here so now let's select this and then select this one and we'll be making blend option so we'll go to object and apply blend or you can directly uh, use the blend tool this is the blend tool click on it I'll click the first design then click the second design and here we go and if you double click on this you can set the number of steps over here so you can either reduce or increase and click OK now what I'll do is I'll change the color so with the app you can do I'll change the color to this so it was white color I'll arrange it back with the command control press open square bracket arrange it back and let's change the blending mode so I'll go to opacity and change the blend mode to soft light and let's reduce the opacity somewhere around maybe 80 or something like that and if you check it out it looks good and now let's add these top details and the first thing we're gonna do is to, to add these two outlines so to create that let's create a duplicate of this command and control C and command and control F to paste in front let's unite them so I'll go to Pathfinder and unite them first now we'll change the fill to stroke and let's change the stroke color so something like blue and let's change the stroke to inside and this will apply to all of it all the strokes will be inside the outline so after that now go to um, object path and apply offset path and here I'll offset minus one and if you do plus one it will be outside I want it inside and click OK so we got two strokes over here blue one and blue two for the second one what I'll do is I'll just first of all click outside and group it and let's select this inner one separately and let's change the color so I'll change this color to white and group this up and for the outer ones I'll just select them randomly outer ones group them up and I'll just pick this color so this is the color code I have used so with the eye picker tool with the shift pressed I'll just pick this color this one blue color and for the inner one it's already white so it's already done now so we have added that border now two borders now let's add this drop shadow so I'll just create a copy of it for this red shape command control C and F then with the all press click and drag and create a depth like this so we'll keep it we'll be subtracting this uh, top shape from the bottom ones and we're making sure that the top is little thicker compared to the edges okay and I'll just leave it like this now selecting these we'll be applying intersect option but before that we need to convert them into compound object so selecting first one ungroup it then go to object compound path make uh, do the same for the other ungroup object compound path make now select both of them and subtract and we are left with this pieces so I'll apply the color so we'll just pick it from here and this is dark blue color let's see the color code here's the color code and this will give you that nice depth to your text and if you check it over here we have I think almost done it it's done so finally we have created this text effect lastly I can just add this text on both sides of here top and bottom and we are finished with our second design as well so as you can see it's very simple to create first one we have used the blending option here we have used 3d extra bevel option uh, now let's see how we can create this third design so to create this design we're using the same techniques but let's, let's try to create it so I'll just bring out a background let's place it somewhere around here and you can use the text for this but let me use a circle or a square so I'll just draw a square like this and just make the corners round like that and I'll just fill this up with some color any color like that and let's say I will change this stroke apply to the stroke and for this 
let's increase the stroke thickness and make sure it's inside so I'll go to stroke and keep it inside and now let's increase the thickness so I want to give a thickness as well as a nice gap in between so let's do it I think this is good so I'll keep it this much I'll, I'll give it 15 pixel next is I'll expand this shape so go to object and expand the shape to make it fill object and now let's apply some color so I'll just create a duplicate and place it somewhere around here okay so this is this much now I'll create a copy of it command control C and command control F and select this this and go to object and go to blend and make or double click on blend tool and select the first shape or the second shape and it will make the blend with the 200 uh, steps so here we go and now I'll just apply some color so I'll just pick this color and let's see and arrange it back okay and for the top surface I'll just pick this color ungroup this one and to select the color let's pick this color so selecting this with the RP tool pick this color and for the bottom one we have used this color let's see okay like that and now for the bottom one let's convert this image to uh, like fill object so I'll go to object and expand it okay and I'll go to pathfinder and combine them and this will make them into single object now the next thing we're gonna do is to make outline and to see the color code for this one I'll just show you the color code this is the color code this is view so you can use this color code now let's give that stroke thickness so I'll just select both of them and give some black stroke thickness make the stroke inward and let's increase the thickness let's see this part and let's go to stroke and as you can see this part you're not having this options to align it to inside to make sure you have that what you need to do is select this and go to pathfinder and just click on unite option and now if you go over there you see this option so it's inside same goes for the bottom it's inside and we have added that thickness let's increase the size now so I'll just make sure to make it a little bit this much bigger comparison to that and I'll just make the thickness to 3 pixel like that so now once you have created that outline what we need to do is we need to uh, make sure that it's on top well, I'll just create a copy of it command control C and command control F and we'll remove the fill color so I'll remove the fill color and now if you check it out this top surface has got outlines and what we need is we need to below one uh, not having the outline so we'll select the below ones for both of them and remove the outline shapes and if I again do this you can see this is the outline and this is the non outline same goes for here as well if I remove this outline you see the base color so what are we doing we are making two separate layer one for the base color and one for the outlines just to make sure that if you're making something you'll be able to make it uh, place it below the outline so now with the pen tool we we'll make some shapes so that's this is the snapping option we'll snap the vertices like this and just cover this part and what I will do is we'll create a copy of this command control C and command control F then select this and intersect this section so go to pathfinder and click on intersect and we got this I'll arrange it to back and let's apply some different color for this so for now let's give some different color and we need to make sure that it's below this shape as well so arrange it back we'll do the same for this side as well so with the pan tool let's hover over here you got this point over here and we'll get on the point somewhere around here not here so click that and just make a border now we'll create a copy one more time command control c command control f select the shape and apply intersect and arrange to back just above our last shape with the applicator tool I just pick this color now 
we have added that nice shade shapes now next thing we're gonna do is to apply this pattern so what we'll do is select these shapes and go to swatches and here we got this pattern if you don't have it over here you can go over here uh, open swatches library and over here you go to patterns basic graphics and basic dots so if you click over here you got this dots pattern so pick any texture you like so we'll pick something like this and to reduce the pattern size we'll use the scale tool double click on this uh, check preview and this uncheck this transform object and this will transform the pattern only so here I will make sure that's uniformly transformed so over here just edge the percentage and size so just compare it and keep it something like this so we are given around 20% and click OK so if you check it out over here we have added that nice pattern it was very simple very easy to do so we have added that now next thing we're, we're gonna do is to add this parallel line along the border so what we need to do is we'll be adding the texture this pattern texture as well as some shades so let's first of all let's add some shades so we need to create a copy Command Control C Command Control F then with your press click drag something like this okay let's see and I'll just select this this and just subtract it so go to Pathfinder and subtract it and for this piece let's pick this color and I'll show you the color as well so here's the color code CCA09F and this will act as a depth shade and now let's add this pattern so select this uh, before that I'll just select this and just copy this color code because I'll be applying it to the pattern as well so copy okay now select our main shape create a copy of it and we'll be applying that pattern to this so I'll again go to swatches and I have the pallet line over here but if you want to again go back you can just go back to patterns graphics and basic graphic lines and here choose your favorite pallet line you want to apply to your design so if you see over here I have given that thin one so let's see which one is this so I think this is the one I have used and you can use the scale option double click on this and just see how much scaling you want to give so uh, for this we are giving some gaps large gaps in between just to see some bell lines and click OK now let's see so as you can see we have added that added a nice palette line to our design but what we need to do is we need to change the color as well so to change the color we'll go to swatches and as you can see this is the texture double click on it and here select them and double click over here and just paste that color code so command v okay and now if i come out you can see we have given change the color of our parallel our pattern and the design look exactly the same so uh, this technique can be used uh, in any shape or any font you like the techniques are very similar uh, you can just uh, take, type out your text uh, make them into outlines and follow this simple technique and you'll be able to create some amazing design just like this so in this tutorial we have seen how you can create 3d text just like this uh, using the blending option that we have seen on the 3d text retro effect uh, with dark theme and we have used 3d extra bevel option and the blending option as well as outline offset outline option and for this last one we have used some amazing technique to apply some patterns to your design to add some depth and shades and finally we have completed creating this 3d retro text effect in the next row we'll be looking at few more retro text effect design and we'll be using photoshop to create those effects so don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you